If chickpeas would build muscle, everybody on the Mr. Olympia stage would eat hummus. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to check out Holly Gabrielle with her video, High Protein Vegan, What I Eat in a Day over 100 grams of protein. When I hear high protein, I have to check it out. Let's have a look. Okay, high protein edition. Fruits don't have protein, in case you didn't know. I am literally obsessed with persimmons. Everybody's yeah, literally they obsessed. They are such pretty fruits. If you are going to try persimmons or like Sharon fruits, my advice is to buy them when they're kind of squishy. Because if you buy them quite hard, it takes ages for them to fully ripen. And to this day... As I said before, nothing wrong with fruits. However, they have no protein at all. Even though I eat them pretty much every day, I haven't worked out how to ripen them. So it is a what I eat today, as you can tell from the title. However... It's got a bit of a twist. I'm going to be trying to hit a certain macronutrient goal. I'm trying to eat at least 100 grams of protein today. If you would eat meat or animal foods in general, you would have no problems reaching 100 grams. So, vegans, at all. Very easy. We just don't get enough protein, right? Like, right. there isn't any protein in plants. We're all protein deficient. True. You know, whenever you say you're vegan, somebody will immediately ask, like, where do you get your protein from? How adorable. The point of the story is there is protein within plants. The question is, do you extract it? Plants come in a package, after all, anti-nutrients and fiber. That makes it super hard for the human to extract any meaningful protein out of it. This is why vegan bodybuilders always use isolated plant proteins. Maybe the recommended amount for me perhaps a bit above that. But I don't normally track anything. I don't track like my calories, macros, micros. I don't track anything. How much you should. protein is in each of my meals. I basically use this website called Chronometer. What I've had today is that they all do. And then I've just had my usual two mason jars of water. So I'm not gonna add water in. Yeah, a persimmon is how many grams of protein? Zero. A persimmon had one gram of protein. That's so cute. Absolutely phenomenal. I don't expect a young girl to know anything about nutrition. Therefore, it is no surprise that she doesn't know that fruits have zero protein. One gram of protein. You're not going to extract any out of that persimmon. However, due to the influence of social media, people like her go vegan and believe they can do it right back in the day they would simply eat what their parents would cook for them and with that would have a somewhat healthy diet now she's in a world of trouble where she has to calculate how much protein her fruit has helping me achieve my 100 unbelievable goal. as i said before when i eat something in the morning and to like fuel my workout it's usually something with like carbs in it to give me energy i should also say that the recommended intake of protein is roughly 0.7 grams per <laughs> kilogram of body weight yeah, so per meal, normally maybe. for females that's like 45 grams on average i think and then for males it's like 55 grams who recommended that I think this is like a high protein way of eating and depending on what your goals are you might want to increase your protein intake or just you know eat a standard amount of protein it just depends on you I'm what is a standard amount of protein if you eat 45 grams of measly protein that would equate to a steak even if you're on a carnivorous diet you wouldn't survive your day just by eating one steak do you understand how little protein that is try and eat 100 grams wow. every Completely day misled. Forwards, but it's just basically to you know talk to you guys about protein show you guys that you can get protein on a vegan diet <laughs> And yeah, okay, show us. Cool. You guys know I'm a biologist, I'm not a nutritionist, but I do love researching this stuff. And even though plant proteins are lower quality protein sources <laughs> in comparison to animal proteins, just because they're harder to digest, they have a lower bioavailability. And no, they don't. This is exactly what you just said. They are lower quality. That equates to lower bioavailability. That's the whole point. If we say it is a low quality protein, it means the bioavailability is lower. You didn't understand anything. About later in the video, they're not 
always complete protein sources, providing all of your essential amino acids. Wow. However, research these days is starting to show that consuming a plant-based diet and consuming enough protein on a plant-based diet can allow you to build muscle just as effectively as consuming a diet. Mm, sure. No study in the world can show that. They use short-term studies where they take a bunch of vegans, a bunch of meat eaters, newbies, they work out a little bit. After that, they take measurements. It is a complete mess. You would have to monitor it during a lifetime or at least a decade to see what is really happening. Vegans will scream anecdotal evidence. The point of the story is that anecdotal evidence is experience. If you look into the sport of bodybuilding with over 100 years of dieting, working out, etc., you will see what works and what doesn't. If chickpeas would build muscle, everybody on the Mr. Olympia stage would eat hummus. It's not just looking at the availability of plant-based proteins over a short period of time. Exactly. So yeah, it's really interesting and I will be making a whole video about the biology of proteins. Not taking into consideration, of course, that when they do studies on certain nutrients or vitamins, they take an isolated form. So if they do a study on vitamin A toxicity, they take a vitamin A supplement and overdose it and then whoopsie now we have a vitamin A toxicity yeah well if you overdose on any supplement you will reach a point of toxicity especially if it's not water soluble so within those studies yet again they use protein isolates if you use plant protein isolates yes granted it will aid muscle building a bit however you will miss out on all the bioavailable nutrients that are only found in animal fat <laughs> you want to see my push up or press up progress right ready steady go wow super strong that was so hard because the plant protein works i've already done some in this workout so that wasn't my best but guys i'm so happy with that brace yourselves okay we are feeling strong okay So far we've consumed one gram of protein. We're gonna change that though. So two bananas, frozen mango, frozen pineapple. I'm Vegans only eat carbs. There you go. I rest my case. This is exactly what I said. Oh, it's not hard to get protein on a vegan diet. And then you use protein powder. That's exactly the point. All you eat vegan is a bunch of fruits, a bunch of carbs, only sugar over and over again. Then you have to add supplemental protein. More about protein powders a bit later in the video. Where do you get your protein? My smoothies just because I really like the taste and soy milk is sure. actually pretty high in protein. Some ground flaxseed. I think that's going to be everything. I'm not going to make it green today. I'm actually going to make it blue. I'm going to add my blue spirulina powder, which uh, I bought last yuck. year for Christmas and I think I've used it twice or something just because my theory is basically that it does something to my digestion and I've been scared to use it since. I'm so hungry right now. Uh -huh. That's gonna make me mess. Sounds Something healthy. I wanted to emphasize about this video is yes, I'm obviously increasing my protein intake, but I'm not gonna jeopardize my intake of carbs or fats. I still want my. God forbid, I wouldn't consume enough carbs. Lemon in the morning? <laughs> How'd you guys? The vegan fears. So, but we don't have any lemons and we only have limes, and I don't want like lime water. That would just not taste very nice to me. These are our free bowls, and we like have. Three limes, no lemons, sadly. We also More have fruits. two pomegranates still. She's basically a fruitarian that adds protein powder. Box. We just don't know how to open them in a way that's like efficient because it's so messy. Mum paid a lot of money for this, so she was quite disappointed when I told her it upset my stomach. It smells kind of weird, not as weird as green spirulina. I'm adding a tiny, tiny bit, right? Why do you add it though? Adding that much, that is a tiny amount. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is one of my favorite bowls. Yuck. Oh, wow. Literally, fish could swim in this. Frozen blueberries. Flaxseed powder. I'm ruining my ocean. Oh, you should really soak chia seeds. Um, but... You're just gonna poop them out. Oh, I'm just adding some anyway. <sighs> I'm just gonna add some anyways. That's the whole point. You saw it somewhere. You saw somewhere that flax seeds, chia seeds and spirulina are healthy foods. Why are they healthy? 
How much will you absorb? Will they wreck your gut? Is there really omega-3 in those seeds? Or is it just ALA? Questions over questions, no answers. <gasps> That is so pretty. More fruits. I could just do this, but this wow. is really annoying. I swear there must be a TikTok or something, but... This is veganism. You eat a bunch of tropical fruits in the UK. Please tell me down below. When I was Sustainable. in Italy, I used to have like pomegranate seeds every show. I used to like get the packs you get from M&S in a ton of plastic, but I used to have them all the time. This is my yield right yes this is what i wanted look how good that looks oh my gosh okay taste test 101 oh the frozen blueberries have frozen over my the ocean is frozen oh that's so good like wow those flavors those textures mm. So good. So to bump up your protein intake <laughs> in smoothies without like using a protein powder, you could add hemp seeds, for example, or mm. nut butters because they're both really high in protein. I'm sorry, no, sorry. Sure, you can add nut butters or hemp seeds or whatever, and you will have a tenth of that protein isolate. Those are designed to be licked. <sighs> <laughs> so as I said for my lunch, I was trying this new recipe. I was trying to make these lentil wrap type things. So I made a baby wrap and then I'm just making a bigger one. I have then a tiny bit left. Why? Maybe one more. That was from half a cup of lentils. This is me concentrating so hard on flipping this wrap because I really don't want it to go wrong, my last one. I then just cut up loads of salad veggies and ate a ton of it alongside. I just, I just can't not snack when I'm making food. And then I cut open this avocado, smashed it. Bye. I don't really know why I added some soy milk. I just thought it might add ah. some creaminess. We have spinach, mashed avocado, the lentil wraps, and then my chopped. And you have exactly salad. zero protein yes. yet again. Mm, oh, wow. I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this. There is no chance that this has 36 grams of protein. No chance at all. Lentils don't even have 10 grams of protein per 100 grams. You say this has 36 <laughs> grams of protein. That means you would have to eat 400 grams of lentils. Almost half a kilogram of lentils. Obviously don't have half a kilogram of lentils in those wraps. The lentil protein is mediocre as is, but to get the equivalent of 36 grams, as I said, you would have to eat almost half a kilogram you have maybe 100 200 grams of lentils in those wraps at best which gives this dish 20 grams of plant protein maybe no idea how i'm gonna eat this but unbelievable so good yeah super good looks like a ball of indigestion this is not everything about the bagel seasoning but it pretty much is everything about the bagel seasoning no. I actually think this stuff is so good. The flavor is so nice and it just added the finishing touch to my lentil wrap. Those don't look so good. I've made something similar yeah. before, like savory oat wrap type things. But yeah, this is my first time making these like high protein. You're killing yourself. You understand that? Lentil wraps and according You look like a young Dr. Dre, not the rapper. Okay, so I had some apple and peanut butter straight away afterwards and then a bit later The amount of that fruits food. that this girl is eating is absolutely obnoxious. As I said before, vegans have to import all kinds of tropical fruits. Great for the environment. But on top of that, you're simply eating carbs. That's it. The only protein source that you had was the soy protein in the beginning. Everything else was either a fruit or a lentil. Um, so right, we're having an apple. This is a pink lady apple, my favorite wow. types of apples. And then I feel like I'd pick a Granny Smith. We'd cut this up and then drizzle over the peanut butter. We're currently on 64% uh. protein today, according to my very complex calculations. Mm, if sure. I do a similar video like this in the future, it would, yes, be interesting to do it without like a protein powder. So mm. if you wanna see that. Yeah. Video, let me know down below. Number one piece of advice though with veganism is to just eat the rainbow. Well, in general, like just eat the rainbow and you just can't go wrong really. It's maybe not as pretty as I expect. <laughs> not at all. But you get the point. Um, Looks like the rainbow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apple and peanut butter. If you don't have enough protein in your diet, you will show symptoms of protein deficiencies. Hair loss, for example, stunted growth probably in children who are like growing and developing, brittle nails. Uh, the only reason why you can get away with it is you are young. That's it. Just wait a bit. Just wait two, 
three, four more years, then you will see the symptoms. Fatigue and weakness, so that is not good. To be You're very weak, by the way. Beyond that extreme. And on the other hand, you can get too much protein. Like you don't want to be over consuming protein. That can put strain on your bones, your liver, your kidneys, like you your kidney stones and stuff if you have too much protein. Protein creates kidney stones. Hmm. In Interesting. You as a biologist surely can explain the mechanism behind that. Yeah, like I remember doing work experience and I saw someone come in because they had just consumed so much protein and their kidneys were under so much stress. But mm. what's interesting is that most of those conditions stem from consuming a high protein, high meat diet. And that is because when you consume too much meat and too much animal protein you're getting like so much else with it like saturated fat cholesterol that can yes be coronary heart all disease. the bad stuff Ooh. that's linked to some cancers these days i just think it's so crazy that some people go overboard with protein like they consume so much animal protein it's just not good for you i'm never gonna tell someone to go vegan but that is just what comes from the literature and research studies and yeah as mm. i said check out my biology video when it comes out if you want a full video i ate 300 grams of protein today protein so for my dinner i had some brown rice veggies and then i had some soya chunks which i basically wow. just soak in some boiling absolutely water. fantastic even back in the day when i was a vegan this would make my gut explode this is not digestible at all but yet again this is a supplement nevertheless just because it doesn't come in a protein top this is still a supplement this is textured soy protein this is where she gets her protein from she only gets her protein from isolated soy sources super unhealthy they just soak in some boiling water yeah. and they kind of like blow up and they're good to eat i mm. love these things delicious like sure right now. once they just swollen as i said i quickly just cook them up in this ready made wow. tomato sauce or salsa type thing that we had i added a few spices it was a very much hit and miss thing but it actually tasted so nice and uh looked pretty professional right when it, it looks pretty pathetic and sad to be honest textured soy protein has been used by peasants in asia not so much as a meat replacement but rather as an additive because they didn't have enough meat they would add some soy protein chunks into the mix still they would eat organs still they would eat eggs and simply add a little bit of that soy protein to fill themselves up you do it because you heard it's a good idea it actually tasted so nice okay so i literally have a pair every single evening before i go to bed i love pears so much Aww. and then i had a my vegan baked cookie and one more supplement my vegan baked cookie so obviously this is a protein brand cookie which will add again some more protein this is how she gets her protein by consuming supplements to her totally deficient diet don't get it twisted you're still deficient maybe you got some protein today but you didn't get any vitamin a vitamin d3 b12 etc etc then i had a my vegan None. baked cookie as well as some frozen cherries um, wow she loves yeah, fruit I hey i don't really know why but i just love frozen cherries and then some because you're anemic probably side. okay so my grand total protein intake is coming very soon but i just also wanted to show you guys that i hit my recommended <laughs> intake of all amino acids including the nine uh, essential ones recommended it's recommended to wear your mask it's recommended the chocolate melts when you put them in the microwave look chocolate i am okay. just doing my teeth and i'm just about to go to bed but basically i will leave that on the screen right here sure thing all right guys and this is it for today's video no chance she got 131 grams of absorbable protein listen when you do bodybuilding you do count the protein but you only count the protein coming from the animal foods this is how you do it for example you eat 100 grams of rice and 200 grams of chicken those 200 grams of chicken have roughly 40 grams of protein this is what you count the rice has around about seven grams of protein this is what you discard you don't count it because it's mediocre nobody assumes that they will build any muscle with the rice protein and it doesn't work in reality anyways the only way to use rice protein would be by isolating it yet again and creating a rice protein powder this is why when you are halfway sane you count your macros you only count the animal foods for proteins and the plants for carbohydrates 
simple. Anyways, not this girl's fault. She just falls prey to the brainwashing coming from social media. Many so-called influencers that are telling us a vegan diet is healthy. She didn't even know that there is no protein in fruit. And still she continued to eat fruit during the day on a high protein day of eating. It doesn't make any sense. Right now, she can still get away with it because she is young. Just wait a few years and the vegan deterioration will set in. All right, guys, but this is it. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.